Sakata Vegetable Production Series. Today we are talking hand sewing versus machine sewing. Should you even consider doing your own seedlings and um, in seed trays or is it just better to go to a reputable company um, that already knows what they're doing and actually do they actually deliver the, uh, the value back to you? Lola, how are you doing? Good in yourself. Oh, good, good. Right. Hand sewing versus machine sewing. First of all, explain to me quickly where the main difference is in that and where, where's the potential pitfalls if I try to do my own seedlings? Um, so machining is much faster, yeah. so it's more efficient. Uh, machines do less mistakes than we do. Uh, so it will sew one seed per hole, where sometimes you know, as a person you could do two or three by mistake. Um, so the efficiency of the machine is way better than uh, sewing by hand. So um, just in terms of accuracy, and are vegetable seeds very sensitive when it comes to depth and so forth? Yes, they are very sensitive. So the machines are way more accurate in the depth that they put it in, the amount of seeds that they put. Um, and, and just to re-emphasize the speed at which they do it is very impressive as well. Yeah, because if you're planting a thousand seeds, it takes time. Exactly, and they're very small, so to take one by one and to do a 200 uh, tray hole, it takes up quite some time. So then there's the other thing in terms of uh, growth medium, okay? So, but that's a very, very sophisticated, almost like a science by itself, just the, the type of growth medium that they use at the end of the day. How do these uh, um, nurseries actually select the growth medium in terms of giving me the best seedling at the end of the day? Um, yes, uh, I'm not going to give away any trade secrets or <laughs> ingredients, but the general use is cocoa peat yeah. um, together with vermiculite. Uh, and, and you know, there is, uh, like you said, a science behind it these times where they can actually tailor make your, 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 your medium for your soil type and not just specifically for your vegetables. So it's not only for the vegetables, it's actually for your soil type and your conditions where they will tailor make the growth medium for you. That's correct. Give me a quick example, what would that be like? So, um, for instance, if you've got soil, like a clay soil that holds a lot of water, yes. the type of medium that they will give you will not be the type that holds uh, as much water as the other one. Because then you don't want a medium that actually also holds a lot of water. And That's I'm guessing correct. the same goes for um, sandy soils, where they'll give you something maybe that holds a little bit more water again. That's correct. Awesome. So there's a, and, and I mean, how would I as a farmer know when I'm going that I'll go to like the nursery or uh, what do you call it, the kwekare, and just buy a bag of whatever growth medium, put it in there, put the seeds in there, and then voila, then I should be there. Uh -huh. so, so a lot more intricate than that. A lot, lot more intricate. That's why we keep on emphasizing that you should go to a reputable um, nursery because they know what they're doing. So, okay, let's go and have a look at the, um, the seeding side of things and just how, exactly how these machines work and exactly how precise they are at the end of the day. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so behind us we've got the, um, the whole sewing machine action going on, if I can put it like that. Yes. We're not standing there because it's very noisy in there. Yeah. Um, but explain to me quickly, how does this whole process work? Um, so, if you go inside, you'll see it starts with the mixing of the peat yeah. uh, at these certain ratios. So now when the peat is now mixed in the machine, it goes and it fills the trays, the 200 hole trays, and this, it fills it accurately. Thereafter, there are holes that are made at the same depth, yeah. evenly, and then it goes so, to the so next. So every, every single hole in that tray, as basically, it's getting a hole that's exactly the same. Exactly every. the same depth. Um, yeah. And then when it moves into the next compartment, that's where the seeds are put in, they're sucked with a vacuum. That vacuum sucks one seed at a time, and make sure it puts on one seed per cavity. And then it goes to the next compartment where it's filled at the top. Yep. That mixture has got some vermiculite and then it goes to the end where it's collected and then taken to the germination room. And that thing just keeps pumping them out? Pumping and pumping and pumping. So it's like one after the other <laughs> and there's no way then when you want to go and put those seeds in there. <laughs> no, you can't compete with that. And then the other thing is why is it so fundamentally important to have all the seeds uniform? Um, so you don't want uh, a, a case where now the one seed comes out first before the other one because now you're going to have uneven germination which at the end results in uneven harvesting. And as a nursery, you're gonna get um, seedlings which are not the same size, which is not desirable at all. Yeah, then I'm just gonna tell you, no, I don't want those. I'm just taking these that's uniform, and then you've got that problem. That's so, great. And at the end of the day, so if I want to do it properly, I need to go and buy all these machines. <laughs> or I can just go and I can buy my seed tray with my plants, 
and end of story, they worry about everything. That's correct. So that's why better go and buy your seedlings from a reputable nursery rather than trying to uh, um, to wing it at home. Exactly. That's true. Lolo, thank you very much. Thank right, you very much. So um, that is hand sewing versus machine sewing. I think it's a no-brainer specifically because they can tailor make your uh, um, seedlings in terms of growth medium and the variety that you need according to your needs in your conditions, which they've got years of experience, they know what they're doing, that's why they're adding the value. Time to market, you get to market quicker, and at the end of the day, maybe that week is just where um, you get the price or you miss the price. So um, I can almost say, um, sowing seedlings, don't try this at home. Get the professionals. Uh, this is it from our Sakata Vegetable Production Series uh, for this episode. If you've got any questions, comment below or get in touch with Sakata. We'll put a link on top or below depending on where you're watching. And then you can make sure that you get the best, best vegetables possible. Till next time. Cheers.